<clears throat> Okie dokie. Twitch, you gonna give me a preview here? There we go. Hello, everyone. I am going to do a tweet. You can follow me at Twitter, Colette MSLP. And a, a Discord. You can join my Discord down in my profile section. <laughs> On twitch.tv slash Colette MSLP. There is no, um, like there's not any Discord links actually, I don't think, anywhere on my YouTube. Not that Discord is not for people that watch me on YouTube, but that it is more focused on what's going on with the live stream. <clears throat> like, I mean, you know, live announcements and stuff. So I guess that's why I never put it there. Hashtag. I thought I, I thought I have to think so long and hard. In my head, I even pronounce it the wrong way. So, <laughs> whatever that actually says. Um, let's do Discord, and then I, I have the colors picked out. We're going to be working with the OMG collection because I think they are kind of sheer enough when marbled to do what I want them to do. And I already know that they work with marbling, so I won't have to do polish testing. I will just need to do like design testing. Um, so yeah, that is the plan as it stands. Hey, son. And at everyone. Okay, Discord is taken care of. <clears throat> okay, water is a requirement. And let's scoot these out. Actually, let's, uh, gosh, I'm running short of like half used paper towels. I mean, this one's like barely used at all. This one's almost perfectly clean. Um, one second. Grab the actual water. Hopefully we're at a good temperature. It was a little cool in here this morning, but I cranked up the space heat. In fact, I should probably crank it back down a notch so that it's only on low. Hey, polished so. And uh, let's, oh, well, where are my strips? There they are. Man. I had a thick wad when we started this month, and now I'm down to, like, not very many. I literally, I'm just pulling out my keyboard tray so I'm not, like, in danger of knocking over the cup of water because it does feel like it could be one of those days. Definitely in need of a little color therapy to get the hamster that is my brain off of this wheel that it refuses to get off. But I, this, this is one, I'm not sure if it's actually not noted down in the uh, polished sketchbook water marble march page, but it's one that I've had in mind for quite a while and I hope it works out like I want it to work out. Hey yo, thank you for joining us. I'm just getting a couple test strips folded up real quick here, um, down on my keyboard tray. I hope I don't have to test it too much. The base, okay, so basically, I mean, plaid's pretty simple. It's just, you know, like some stripes crossing and, you know, over each other. So I'm gonna do a layered water marble. Oh no, too sick to go out of town, that sucks. <laughs> Checking out nails at the McDonald's drive-thru. Um, 
the one the one thing I think I may have a problem with is I don't want the the stripes to be too thin because I think it won't look as much like plaid if I do that so the silver is going to be in both layers and then one layer is going to be in the pink and one layer is going to be in the blue and these are uh china glaze omg flashbacks the silver is omg the blue is two night and the pink is bff and they are hollow as you can tell from that spill of polish on the outside of the bottle that now, if, if you recall the last time I used these, I had my other camera and the other camera did not pick up the hollow of this spill the same way this camera is. So that makes me a little bit more pleased with this camera once again. I'm still having kind of a love-hate relationship with it. <clears throat> so let's get out a little bit of polish remover and <clears throat> see if we can get these stripes the width that I want. Both colors should react the same. So I'm just going to be, as far as testing like the stripe width, I'm just going to be working with one at a time until I get something that I like and then I'm will. Then i going to layer them. <clears throat> I'm a little bit hoarser than I realized. I'm sorry. <clears throat> and I suppose I probably should drink some water instead of just tea, but the tea is so delicious. So... I think I need this just a little closer. Let me adjust you guys. In fact, maybe would you guys like to be a little closer? Like that close? Um, actually, just a little bit more water. Oh, that's good. At least you don't have... I forget how many dozen you said you made, but that would be a lot of bread to just have. I mean, I suppose you could freeze it or something, but that would be a lot to just have around. So, like, stripes can be... Oh, we've got sunshine coming in here. Is it actually... Actually, it's not quite on the camera. It's just off camera. If it gets to be obnoxious, I might need to close the, close the curtain, but I'm going to leave it for now. I'm going to start with just, like, a regular bullseye what I think I'm gonna have to do is like probably have some rings that are like hello let's clean off the surface apparently before we start <clears throat> some rings that are more like uh double drops of polish in order to get them a little bit thicker but I might be able to also just accomplish the same thing with uh, with not going for too many rings in the bullseye so let's start off with maybe just six, two, three, thank you for the host, Basinji lover, four, five, six. I might also be able to like see I feel like the center is so big let's just try this though and see how it looks see like it doesn't actually stretch into stripes when the center is that big of a dot and for stripes they're like chevrons except like instead of pulling straight across you kind of start pulling back down to get the stripes and this feels like it's not man it's kind of dry and fast too is this water not quite warm enough or is it dry and fast because I don't have quite as much as much polish in the cup as I could that's also a factor in drying it's not one that I usually consider because I'm usually trying to um like cram more nail polish in the bowl rather than be scant on the nail polish but if you're using just like a very few drops then your the bullseye layer is going to be thinner because it's not th there's not as much polish there and then it will also dry um all the way um so, yo, when you assemble them, they have, um, it's like a little tab that you can, you like put it in and then you put the tab out and it acts as a stop so that you cannot pull it all the way out. I actually, I mean, and, it, and it's, it's not like a deep stopper. 
but it's enough that it, when you're when it's a full drawer of polish it does make it difficult so I actually don't use those on mine but that does mean that you can oh does anybody have the clip the drawer can fall out all the way basically if you don't put the stoppers on there but if as long as you're aware of it it's uh it's fine I have to find that clip now we have we have a clip of this happening um let me see here if I can find it really quick hey Ann <clears throat> um where where would you be how long ago was that it's uh I think it's called Poltergeist. There it is. So, um, <clears throat> in this here clip, Actually, should I play it on stream? I could play it on stream, I suppose. It's my damn clip. <laughs> no, you can watch it at your own. I, it, I think it's kind of loud, and I'm not sure how, how loud it would be if I played it. Basically, you can see it in Beanie's cam. I left a drawer part way out, and a ghost made it fall the rest of the way out. So they will come out. I, like, don't, I should not have left it that way. Fastest I've ever seen Beanie move. Um, so I think part of the reason... This didn't go well. It's because I used too few of drops. Yeah, it's like with the, with the Helmers, if the stopper's in place, it's like the space is usable, but getting anything out of it would require, like, you know, clearing space in front of it and then, like, scooting it forward, which I'm not, I'm not going to do. <laughs> I just try to always be very mindful. If I pull it open more than like halfway, I will put a hand underneath it just to like support it and make sure I don't just accidentally just because of course, like if it's the bottom drawer, it's minor. It's, you know, half an inch off the floor. If it's the top drawer, you're probably going to break some shit and maybe your toe is part of that shit, depending on where your feet are, because like the top is like I mean a couple feet off the floor and so if if you were to pull that drawer out accidentally that that would be a bad thing <clears throat> teal blue and purple that sounds really pretty those were my like go-to colors at the beginning of this month I felt like oh go away stop beeping at me go away okay forgot to do that my apologies what's this here that looks cool I, I would like to I mean a part of me would love to have like shelves for my polish another thing that's very similar to the Helmer is uh the nickname is the Melmer I don't know what it's actually called. It's kind of like a Helmer, but it's sold at Michael's. Um, like, as you can see, I don't have like a lot of wall space. <laughs> like there's the closet, there's a bookshelf next to that is another shelf. I mean, I would need every single inch of the wall in here, probably, and then some for my collection. So I don't know. I guess I gave up that dream. <laughs> All right, let's try this with uh, two drops each for each ring. So one, two, three, four, five, <clears throat> six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right. 
still kind of a large centering but I think you can even tell the difference with this how these have turned more more stripey than the other ones this direction then we'll want to pull them skinnier but not too skinny I don't feel like I'm getting enough stripes I might have to go skinnier than I actually want to go or like maybe I should if I do like can I then I really would like to find a way to make wider stripier stripes like the thinner stripes are fine but I dipped that in kind of weird I didn't like I, I want more of like this but even like a stripier and less chevrony that but like that sort of width I want to even though I'm not like super happy with that and I said I was only gonna be testing one at a time I do want to test how this actually looks layered so let's let's do the next one with the blue maybe I do need to go more like for the pink in the middle or maybe some like not two drops in the middle like maybe I don't want two drops of the silver in the middle because this um like these silver lines got very fat so how about if we do one two three four five six seven <laughs> eight nine and then instead of a final silver one then I finish with another blue one let's see how this goes it's interesting now the camera's not picking it up in person I can actually see the differential like the blue ring I can tell is two drops so like whoa sticky I think this is a little better a little bit more like what I wanted I'm still not getting quite as stripey as I wanted but maybe I can get it to oh that's better a little bit a little bit dry too okay so I want this to go this 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 way this way it doesn't look like plaid I mean it's it's kind of interesting because you can definitely see both patterns I wanted it stripier I wanted it to I well plaid you guys know what plaid looks like so plaid is not exactly happening but like the thing so the thing is with most of my striped patterns like most plaid has like some color lined up next to each other and then like a gap of white well ho the hollow in this case standing in for the white and it's hard to get like a lot of skinny lines lined up like that and then like a wider gap with the way that I do the stripes it's hard to get the, the stripes to go like the width that I really want like skinnier the skinnier of a stripe you get the, the easier it kind of is 
like back to like like my bumblebee design or like candy cane or what's like a good one i've done recently i can't even think of one oh we did it for uh well you know actually that i did that one i would that one's not my favorite the green and silver one that we did for christmas <clears throat> let me catch up on chat a little bit here while i'm having this existential crisis just the prettiest stuff I remember you saying that, Anne. That sounds that sounds like a cool idea too. I also like if if you just want to like switch a whole drawer's position, if you, you can pull out the whole drawer and like swap it around if you're, you know, really moving stuff around. There there's a lot of different like solutions that you can kind of work with it. And I was laughing before at the they're not fat, they're big bone comment. Yeah, well, and the other thing, too, is I guess you can kind of see it. I kind of wanted it to be more obviously purple where they were overlapping. You know what I mean? That's why I chose the pink and the blue out of the collection, because I thought, oh, they'll, they'll make purple. And, like, if I really, really look, like, I guess I can see it. But you, you kind of really don't, though. <laughs> don't mind me i'm not stealing your, your nail polish or using it up sitting there taking a long old dump and just decided to do a manicure <laughs> let me stop mm -hmm. this cup is getting really dirty but guess what if it's working we're not switching shit fuck switching a cup I learned that lesson again last time. Okay. Are you guys liking these colors? I mean, they're kind of similar to the colors I used before, which, I mean, other than the blue and the silver, all I've changed out is the pink. I think I'm slightly changing gears. We're still doing a layered water marble, but maybe not layered quite like that. So let's, let's try this. And I would like to, if at all possible, make it so that it's multi finger dunking friendly because we're basically doing two water marbles. And like, I'm not trying to be like here, like dipping individual fingers, like 20 cups later. Mm, that's a six. Seven. Eight. Nine. We'll go with nine for this. Um, I'm going to do this again. course that wouldn't that would not be multi-nail friendly Colette well maybe it could be maybe it could be okay bear with me hey dapper I think dudes, dudes is, uh, gender neutral, in my opinion. Hey, kittens. I'm hoping so, too, kittens. We're working on, uh, I'm not sure if you can quite tell on this one here. We're working on a layered water marble that is already not quite turning out like I thought, but, I mean, what else is new? Not shocked. Um, Okay. Now, we'll layer on top of this with the pink. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, same thing. Stretch to the sides. Single, like chevron through the center, but opposite dip. You can't even tell. Whoa. Sorry. That was the microphone. Okay, that actually does not work as well as the other way. I thought you would be able to tell more. Maybe I would need to, like, stagger them. Not have them, like, directly. Of course, I'm not. The one the one half, I matched them up pretty good. I'm, I'm, like, looking at it, not even showing you guys. The blue underneath gets lost. I think I would need to go at either, like, a completely opposite angle Okay, two more tests, two more thoughts. And I do think, I think it also works out better when there's a little bit more of the silver. Like these are, both of those dips were kind of heavily, uh, heavily color. And the color turned out more vibrant and then like compared to the first one, like they're really strong there and you can't see the overlap as much compared to like the, the first one. Dude over map. Yeah, me too, son. Mm. Um, I did do it second on this one. It's kind of hard to see on the base of this one. It was a lot darker on this one, too. I mean, ideally, the order should not matter. Because you should be... Like, you should be able to see each one individually and then where they overlap. It's actually like a pink... And a blue, and where they overlap, it should be purple. So, okay. Let's try this first. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Shit, I meant to do two. Oh well. <laughs> Seven, eight. This might still work. Nine. I did mean to do two drops of all the silver rings, though. Um, we'll stretch this way. Now, like, these are quite wider than what I was initially considering. There's a bubble right there. But I wonder how this would work. So. We'll do that. And then we'll bring in the pink. You know what? Do I really need to uh, turn off the white balance again? This is so showing up so much tealer on camera than it than it actually is or is the auto white balance off and that's why it looks weird hey there that's better that's way more color accurate fuck you auto white balance <clears throat> okay um pink one Two. Ah. Three. <laughs> Four. Five. 
six. I don't know why this is so hard for me. Seven. And actually, maybe I'll end on eight. Or do I want to do like two more of these? Eight. Mm, nine. What if we end like that? Let's see how this looks. It almost looks like an eyeball. I wonder if I can accomplish that like a little bit smaller, but how? Hey Barbie, how have you been doing? I hope you've been better. Well, hopefully since you're here, that is a sign you're better. What if I was, of course that would, we're back once again to like dipping 10 fingers. If I could find a way to make this eyeball thing smaller. It's kind of cool though. <laughs> I kind of really like that. Okay. Mm. I mean like so far, as far as like, uh, I, I really like this eyeball, but it, I mean, it needs work. It's, it's, you're not, you can't put that on your finger so far, as far as like actually seeing the clear view of the, the actual two layers, I think it would be this one. But like when I try to picture like what exactly would be overlapping on the nail, that's when it gets a little bit more confusing. So... The other thing I want to try or the other pattern I guess I want to try. I think I still want to stick with like larger silver sections. So three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. So, if we add in just a couple regular chevrons. And then put in, like, I guess I usually like to call them channels. I want these, like, really curved. Like, get more curvy, like that. This piece of paper is so wet. It's almost hard to dip. Okay, now that's like a pretty good amount. Um, of white in between. So. Okay. White. I keep calling it white because it looks white, but I mean, it is the hollow silver and it does look much more hollow when the manicure is finished. Like, oh, actually. Look at that. That's the sunlight peeping through. Look at that fucking hollow, y'all. <laughs> pling, 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 pling. Okay, let me stop. Mm. Two weeks in the hospital. Oh. Things haven't changed too much. Got some more, got some more emotes. That's a good change. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm glad you're out. Man, just medical shit going on all over the place. Oh, that's so good. I'm so glad that little sunlight just came through here. Color therapy for all, y'all. Okay, blue layer. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. I just doing two drops is not what I normally do. Seven. <clears throat> Eight, nine. Okay. So we did some of that. We did some of this. Come through here, blue. Whoa. And then we did a little bit of this. I feel like there needs to be maybe a two drop of blue in there some, somewhere to add like a little bit of thicker lines. You need to be a little curvier. And then I would want to put these like the other, the opposite way. Like, are these going to line up? Oh! <gasps> fuck yeah! Whoa! <laughs> That's fucking cool. So each each channel would be a nail. Oh. <laughs> wow. I like that so much. <laughs> it's so like it it gives me like okay. Spirograph water marble, anybody? Wow, y'all. Oh. oh, let's get the hollow. Come on. Can I get it at the right angle to catch the hollow? Maybe it's too wet. It's too wet to catch the hollow. But okay, and it's all that and it's hollow. Wow. Wow. Musical. We're we're doing some some really good shit today. Hello. And and hi, Mrs. Schrader. I don't know if I said I'm like I'm stunned. <laughs> I didn't I don't know. I mean that's what I wanted, but I didn't anticipate it being that phenomenal. I still think I want like maybe a th a thicker color ring in there somewhere. Oh my God, that's like ridiculously cool to me. <laughs> whoa, whoa, dang it, dropped it. Mm. Oh, that's sweet of them. You guys all have such good helpful husbands. Just shows what good taste we all have. Well, I say we, like, I'm, I I have good taste in other things. <laughs> hmm. Okay, one more, one more test, y'all. Or maybe two, because we'll have a, we'll have a whole test strip. Let's, uh, we could test base colors. Just, well, actually, oops. I didn't mean, did not mean to. Yeah. Me either, son. As soon as I said that, I was like, what am I even saying? Mm. We have good taste in nail polish, son. And one day, maybe we can have good taste in men, too. <laughs> mm. Okay, so I'm going to test. Well, I mean, basic white doesn't really need a test, but I'm going to test. Um, well, which of these would maybe be Uh, yeah, we can test a shimmer and we can test a pearl. So, hey, Sacrista. Look, look at this, Sacrista. This is so freaking cool. Um, OPI Kyoto Pearl, which is a lovely shimmer, shimmer pearl. And 
and on the other half we'll do god it's got all kind of flaky crap happening around the neck <clears throat> and on the other half we'll do a sparkly way sparkly white or lee all champagne we do we have excellent taste in cats i mean excuse my microphone but look at this sweet gray boy here hi sweet gray boy how is beanie today you sweet gray boy oh this is so pretty in the sun it's bringing out little flecks of color that i didn't realize were in these sparkles or do we have some sun here Ugh, camera cra camera's not picking it up it's like a little tiny pink and kind of almost turquoise kind of shimmers but then like under here it just looks fucking white <clears throat> that's exactly what i said to krista this is the spy spirograph double dip water marble y'all i mean spirograph double dip double dip spirograph one of those I mean, I almost feel like, I mean, I like these colors together. Let me just pull out the others and just make sure I don't want to, um, I think one of them is here. No, two of them are here. Yeah. See, like, I don't want, this is the actual purple and the, uh, coral. It looks blue. This is the blue stupid camera. And then what is the one other color? Oh, the one other color is the teal, which I just already used. So I don't, I mean, I'm pretty sure I have used these colors together in a water marble before, but I kind of don't care. Like they look, they look really good and they work really good. I mean, I could consider switching out the purple for either one of them, but I'm still hopeful that if I can get a thicker if I can get a thicker ring in there, that they'll become purple where, where, where they cross. Oh, yes. Oh, dang, I moved all these too. Sorry. <laughs> Your adoring fans have to be able to see you, Bean. Oh, we even turned around. Hi, sweet boy. You so handsome. Mm. Animals do know. I mean, my cat I had at the time didn't dislike my boyfriend I had at the time, but that was that was long ago, long before Beanie. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Butts pot nose. I think if you mowed your lawn, then I mean, I think you have a pretty good excuse not to move for at least a while, Sacrista. Mm. Mm. well i mean I've, of course i don't know the details son but i have to assume he's not a complete asshole from some of the things you've said so maybe i don't know maybe the cast didn't have it completely wrong it just didn't quite work out in that sort of a way uh, i can't quite say the same because i do not speak to my ex at all anymore ever period <laughs> so um okay so i want like we want to maintain some of this ethereal eth ethereal 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 like the ethereal swoops And we want to maintain a lot of the white because that's what allows you to see them really overlapping together. Okay, I think I have the plan as it stands, man. Um, how, how many drops was I working with here? I was doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I was doing nine. So if I add in another drop of the pink, that'll be 10. That should be actually fine without adjusting anything else. Okay. And it really shouldn't matter which one is on top. I 
I think blue was on top here and here and pink was on top here and here. But these were the ones where we had the really thick rings and these are the ones where we had the thinner rings. Well, we have two more sides to do. We can test both with the actual design that we're probably gonna use. So the first one will be pink first. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, nine, Dr. Crotron. 10 dr crotron we're, we're doing good shit today how was your stream early wait it's saturday and you're streaming early i did see on discord but i i don't know like it didn't strike me as completely odd at the time and then like now it strikes me as odd okay we're gonna get these in here maybe i only need one drop of silver in the middle too and then my channels won't be forced to be quite so far to the side where the more interesting parts of the chevron are. You're not in the gloves. He's not. Look how nice he's being today. Beanie is a good boy. Don't you try and spread rumors that he's not. Bean is the best boy. Hey, pancakes. Now, like, to round these more, I'm literally just, like, drawing kind of like in the same spot or right next to it to try and kind of just give them more of a little bit of a curve. And we, we do have a couple more like thicker spots that I like. Compared to this one. <clears throat> hey Luke. Hey Ash. Oh, you did the rando bingo. I, I don't know if I'm going to get to it this week. I've been so kind of out of it unless I unless I squeeze in a stream tonight oh more Sekiro tonight that game is kind of cool and hello anybody else that I may have missed um we're gonna be calling this the Spirograph Water Marble because it's gonna be freaking awesome we're just finalizing finalizing things um, I think I'll do the blue the same to keep them the same on the one test and on the other side of this strip I'll do the test um, with only one drop of silver in the center <clears throat> Aw, come on Alexa Um, no, I've been wanting to do a layered water marble for quite some time and I've kind of had some ideas and discarded some ideas and I think we might have even tested it one time and it turned out looking so gross. I forget what color we used, but it was like, oh no, like that's not what I wanted. But these are really turning out pretty freaking cool. Okay, there's our thick ring. Then we'll do two more drops of the silver, blue. Maybe I will just try with one on this one and then we'll just already see how that works. All the cat emotes. Yeah, a lot of cat emotes on Arcus's channel. Jojo. Jojo's a pretty cool cat. See, this gives us kind of, even though this is only one drop, it gives us another kind of thicker, a thicker ring. So, I just wonder if it's going to be too thick without the two in the center. We'll see how they overlap. Alright, get our two channels in here. Hmm... And then 
we want to go this way this way yeah can we line up right here I hope I lined them up as well as I did the first time I almost like it better a little bit more ethereal which I think is due to the extra drop of silver in the middle like the and it partly it's because I didn't the bottom pink had the two drops but like you the, the more color there is the less obvious the overlapping becomes so for this one we'll try with the blue on the bottom and after we finish this one I think we'll be ready for a manicure <laughs> pancakes is like oh you want caddy most do you monster hunter D you didn't do did you ever do monster hunter on stream i'm trying to think you did like maybe one or two streams or maybe i'm imagining it very pro caddy mode dog emotes are cool too i, I really do love my clark emote he's so adorable okay one two three four hmm five six seven eight moving my thicker ring more toward the center nine thicker color ring I should say 10 all right pull out and get the chevrons oh yeah like it's a subtle difference but I think this is gonna be good Get a little more curvy curve. All right, let's see how this one looks. I like this a lot. I think that's the perfect balance. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's, that's the best one yet. Because we got some skinny ones and we got some fat ones. And we still have a good amount of silver. We're going to do that same pattern with the pink on top. <clears throat> dino hello yes do we still have the one in the sun over here where's the dry one the eyeball oh the sun has changed its angle it's not cooperating as much anymore we will be revisiting the eyeball idea i don't know when i don't know how i mean literally i don't know how to make it small enough to fit on my finger but that just looks so freaking cool um and I, I think I said hi, Dino, but if I didn't, hello. <laughs> yeah, give your cat a manicure while you're watching. I should do Beanie's nails on stream sometimes. He's actually a really good boy about it most of the time. I mean, it's not like his favorite thing, but he knows he'll get a treat once he's done. Okay, so three, four five six seven eight nine ten maybe mrs Shredo. i mean i do have the dappin dish out i got it out for the veil marbling because I thought it would keep like that single drop smaller. I don't know about actually marbling in it. It seems so freaking tiny. So, whoa. Drying at the edges. Weird things happening. Of course, I am leaning to the side. <laughs> Alright, so again, we want our channels. We want a nice, like, rounded curve to these. 
one about fingers width wide. And then all right, let's try to line these up. Oh, I don't know if that was a very good dip. Oh, that's fine. I think I maybe want to eliminate the outside row of color. Just th these are not 10 drops and these are like nine drops. You see how much darker the pink turns with like an extra drop of polish to push it tighter. And I kind of think I like the, well, is it just because it's darker? What was I getting a real hollow reflection there on camera too? No, not as much. Oddly enough, this one is almost my favorite one, but I think I would like this one if the colors were the same uh, saturation. <clears throat> hey, KJD. Well, you just got to call up uh, Daggett, Dr. Crotron. Hell yeah, cheese sandwich. <laughs> mm, I, I like how you think, Dino. Yeah, I think we're going to eliminate the first outside color drop so that we're back to nine drops. We're going to start with pink. And I'll decide... Well, I'm, I'm still kind of undecided on the thick ring. I kind of like it, but I kind of don't. Like, I, I like both of these designs this one I feel like is more you you see more of the overlapping like this one you kind of don't see it until you look a little harder <clears throat> it looked hard Dr. Crotron it was cool that snake was cool I mean there were some cool parts it looked really hard. I I don't I don't think I would ever play a game that hard. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. <clears throat> King Pickle BX. Thank you for the follow. Which one is your guys' favorite? The uh well, what is this for you? Left or right? I'm just curious because sometimes like what I prefer is like not actually what other people prefer. Or maybe. Hmm. 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 <clears throat> Mustard and toilet paper. <laughs> so what I'm hearing is you guys like this one. Good to know. And you know what actually might... Do I actually want to run a test of that? Actually, I don't need to because that is actually what this is. Is it? Okay, so you like this one in comparison to this one. What about between these two? The pink is almost invisible on that one. Why is it? I feel like the pink is really strong here and really weak here, and the blue is stronger here and weaker here. Um. So... I might just write this down, actually. If this will e pencil will even write on wet paper. Um, this this darkest this one here is blue first, pink second. This one is pink first, blue second. I 
I think I want to do pink first, blue second. I'm just, I'm undecided on if I want to try and make the pink a little bit less intense by eliminating one of the drops. And if so, do I also want to eliminate one of the drops from the blue? Oh, let's make some room on our tray here. God, we still got so much of the coral testing. Grandma hated it. <laughs> oh. She, uh, she's going to be 90 in a couple weeks. And, you know, she, she is having some issues, but she definitely still knows what she likes. And she was like, it's too pink. <laughs> so. <clears throat> a green drop. Wait, why would I add a green drop? <laughs> yeah, I think the blue second feels more balanced to musical. Yeah, see, and then here's the other one too, just for reference. The first one, the one that made us realize this was really cool. So really, we want in between these two, which is this one. <clears throat> also, there's not a green. There's teal, but I literally just use the teal. I don't want I don't want to do any more testing. I know all the OMGs work together. But China Glaze didn't re-release the green. Come on, China Glaze, you're you're screwing up my nail art. Not really. I would have loved if they re-released all 12 though. <laughs> yeah, no green on my butt, please. Whoa. Plus, green is already a secondary color. That The original desire that I had with the double dip water marbling was marbling with all primary colors so that they all created secondary colors where they overlapped. That's the one that turned out horribly. I think we tried that with the color paints. And it was just a disaster. A disaster. Okay, so we're going to be going for this. And I think I do like a slightly thicker line, but I also like the slightly more subtle pink. So what we're going to do is a double drop, but we're going to eliminate the outer edge and that should hopefully give us like the color saturation that I want. <clears throat> yeah, they were. I mean, the color paints are jellies. They just... <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, that was the other test we were deciding between here. Gosh, it's hard to even... I'm just looking at them in the sun. I think Kyoto Pearl wins. which is the base under this one. Of course, is that what's making it more intense? That doesn't make any sense. They're both whites. But it does seem to be making them kind of, I'm like looking at them in the sun, it does seem to be making them more hollow. That doesn't make any sense though. How could, a, how could two different base whites and one make them more of an, an intense pink? That just actually does not make any sense. No. Okay. We're going to go with Kyoto Pearl. Well, it is a slightly darker white. That much. Not enough to account for the color all on its own. That, I, I have to attribute that to the different amounts of drops used. I've got like, gnarly polish all over my finger. What have I been doing? Sticking my finger into the polish or what? Like in the surface of the water. These are so floppy because they're double dipped. So I can't just like use the paper's stiffness to my advantage like I usually do when I'm dipping. So actually that was like quite a bit messier than usual. 
Um, I think, too, this could be a candidate for double thumb dipping. Of course, I'd have to draw them in different directions. But that's definitely doable. Okay. Um, oh, I was going to move these and let them dry. Let's get you onto this shoebox lid, which is just happens to be the exact perfect size for drying nail strips. Oh, that's like the most awkward shot ever. <laughs> I thought it was going to be easy. Okay. Um... <laughs> yeah. Fourteen seasons is really long for any show, and I mean, I would have to imagine, as an actor, even if you like love the show, like eventually you'd be like, man, I'm kind of getting sick of this shit. <laughs> Especially a show like that. Like, I don't think I've ever actually seen it, but I know it's pretty popular. And they probably have people come... Well, of course, that's not probably even ever going to go away once the, once the show stops. I need another bottle of OMG, I think. I'm going through it kind of quickly. Um, I, I, I imagine it would be super awkward to be like called by your character's name out in public instead of your real name. Okay, so I do, I think, want to take a quick quick break before we start on the nails because the testing took an hour which I didn't quite really expect I kind of thought the first one was going to be successful which I mean why would I think a silly thing like that um but I think what we actually came up with is going to be pretty freaking cool so I'll leave this here you guys can Oh, look how nice the caps are looking in this camera. So shiny and hollow. Um. <laughs> yeah, you're just in time, Amethyst. Just in time for the manicure. Um, okay. It is currently 3.35 for me. I'm going to try and make this quick little five minute potty break. Um, and if you need to take your own potty break, now is certainly the time. I mean, you could go other times too if you want, but if you have any type of FOMO and don't want to miss out, then now is the, definitely the time. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna go as soon as I find your music. And of course it is the wonderful Unwritten Return by Kevin MacLeod to keep you guys company until I get back. Thank you for your patience in advance.
He follows me around like a little dog. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. A Twitch Prime sub while I was gone. Thank God I'm not, like, blind and I saw that. KJD, thank you so much. Um... What else, what else did I miss while I was gone? Oh, son went to get candy. Talking about TV shows. Hello, hentai lover. Game of Thrones. I know somebody, shit, it might even have been you, Barbie. <laughs> if it was, I'm sorry. Somebody posted a Game of Thrones stamping plate in Discord. So I know we have some fans. You coming over here? Hmm. All right. I guess we have to have a beanie break before we do the manicure. Oh, are you like right in the sun, beanie? Your camera can hardly handle it. It doesn't know what to do. It's making you look orange. What the fuck, beanie cam? <laughs> this is apparently what color the camera thinks beanie is in the sun. <laughs> mm. Okay, there we go. There we go, beanie cam. That's a little better. Say hi to everybody, Beanie. That's so... I mean, example 85 million and 20 of how white balance just is confused as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Hi, you handsome. You are such a good boy. You gonna get in your chair so I can do my nails? Let's get in Beanie's chair. Good boy. Settle down. Yeah, you are so handsome. Oh, you want a treat? Okay. Okay, you twisted my arm, Bean. Yeah, treats for Beanie. <laughs> the butt picture. Just one. You gonna take it very carefully? There, that's for you. Good boy. Good boy, settle down. And don't try to, like, bail out and I'll, like, give you a treat either, you little cheater. All right, let's, uh, whoa. I think we can go to a slightly more far away view while we're just doing prep and stuff. Um, this view, this one right here. Um, yo, okay. <laughs> I didn't misremember. I really, I, I don't know. Sometimes I wonder how, like, anybody in the world gets anything done ever. Because I don't feel like what I'm going through is that, like, unique of a problem. And there are certainly, like, worse problems. But, like, my already scatterbrained nature, I feel so just... Even, even more out of it than usual. So stream really has... When I've been able to, like, get up the energy to stream... Stream really has been very, very helpful as a distraction. <clears throat> okay, fresh acetone. <laughs> Looks like a sloth. Have you ever been to a zoo that has a sloth? And like during the day, they're just like asleep in the tree and they just look like a lump like this, like clung up to the tree. If you haven't, I have a video on YouTube. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I have two zoo videos. Um, if you search hard enough, one is uh, Chloe the sloth and one is uh, Buzz and Neil the polar bears. <laughs> but they just sit there because I, I think they're like mostly nocturnal. Sometimes if you go like right at the end, um, it's like when their feeding time is and when they move them out of the, uh, it's like a rainforest forest exhibit. So it's like a public display where there's not even really like a fence or anything, but they don't leave them there all the time. C4 for eight months. Haven't been around much, but still keeping up on the replays. I'm so, I'm so glad that people enjoy those and love you too. I love all you guys. I really... I, I, I feel like I over talk about it sometimes and then I'm like I never can over talk it because I really do appreciate it I appreciate 
I, I mean, I don't want to call this, like, a safe space or, like, get all, like, you know, whatever. But, like, it's a... I feel like this is a healthy space. <sighs> Sunlight right in my... Oh, Benny, please don't throw up. Oh, come on. Please don't. Please don't. I mean, if you have to. I'm hoping it's a false alarm. I gave him a shoebox lid to throw up on. Because <laughs> then you don't have to clean the carpet life hacks with my simple little pleasures um but yeah i feel like this is a real happy space and you guys help make it that way the chat and the community um are awesome and you guys are awesome and i love all you guys and c4 we almost have a twitch baby and to those of you guys in chat who i do have twitch babies with all my different twitch baby mama and daddies <laughs> Um, the nine month sub badge should be live. Who, who is here that has one? Doc and Luke, are you still here? Or like, I think music gal. Uh, anyway, the, the nine month sub emotes I did update and shocked the hell out of myself by already having a different one that I could upload for the 12 months. So I didn't even have to do any extra work. Okay, he did, he did not barf. Anybody that's, like, concerned, like, oh my god, poor Beanie. I mean, he, I don't know. He, he does it a lot, like, where he's like, <coughs> <coughs> and you're like, oh, here comes a hairball or something, and then he just, like, goes off and nothing, nothing actually comes of it. Okay, let's, th this is becoming a problem. This right, well, shit, where, what, right there. Pew! So wonderful lovely 60 degree day running rivers of water in the street i must block you from my view for the good of the nail art mm. yeah there we go <laughs> god it just it becomes more and more nipple like doesn't it i hope your nipple is not green oozing green pus at the center anybody if you if your nipple is oozing green pus, please see your doctor. <laughs> oh, hey ninja. Wait, maybe oh bean? No, it's not like an asthma kind of we wheezing. It's like I mean he's doing the <laughs> type of a thing. He's you know a little, little bit of dry heaves. Sometimes I think he just doesn't know how to do it right. Frisky. I mean, she was old cat. She was a pro at throwing up. You could see, it's like, have you ever seen the, that yoga move where you like suck your stomach up like into your, into your lungs and your rib cage is like flexing? That was frisky when she would throw. Let's, let's change the subject off of cat puke, actually. Let, let's change. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Another, another green tip nip in chat. <laughs> Mm. Um, he also has a habit, which I, I think son, you've also said some of your cats do of, uh, it's like gobbling the fuck out of his food and then puking it up like two seconds later. Cause guess what? You didn't chew. Whenever I feed him, I talk to him. I say, now Beanie, I need you to eat slow. I need you to chew your food. I need you to go crunch, 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 crunch. And he looks at me and then he crunches his food. And there's some stream where I forgot to mute my mic where you can hear me talking to him. I don't remember which stream it was though. And somehow nobody clipped it. <clears throat> Wait, what the, what, what Bach emote is this? What the hell is this? Bach swole? Bach hunk? No, that's Bach creepy swole. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, so it used to be that affiliates did not have any nine month uh, sub badges. It was just the base badge, uh, three months, six months, and one, one year. You trying to put that other one that you know I hate? Bach Jill is so bad. I hope Bach Jill is just gone. It doesn't look like he typed it wrong. Um, and I just happened to see. I never did look if I got an email and just didn't notice. I happened to be. Looking through Twitter, which I have started doing a little bit more lately because there's a lot of other streamers and stuff on Twitter. And I forget 
if it just came up or if I, like somebody had liked it or whatever, but like that affiliates now had nine month emote slots. And I'm like, okay, I actually have nine month subs. I should go take care of this. So I think it's kind of along the same lines as the extra emotes, which I also, I need to figure out two more emotes. My, I, I have an open slot right now and I'm going to get another open slot next month, but I don't know what to put in them. But yeah, so I moved what had been the one year sub badge to nine months because I mean, they're progressive. And when I looked in the folder, I already had another one with six rings that I uploaded for one year. So I was pretty pleased with that. Whoa, this is kind of janky. Okay, that's okay. This is fine. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty cool. You still don't get anything after one year, though. And uh, partners get, like, every six months after one year up to, like, eight years. I don't know how you would even figure out that many damn sub badges, really. Like, I within the limitations of the size of the sub badge, I don't think I can go too much more rings of my water marble than what I have for, for what the 12-month is now. I might have to get rid of the little the little white outline that signifies the cup, which actually, now that I think about it, probably isn't even visible in light mode. I'll, I'll just have to add that to, to all my to-do list to cut out the white pixel and just go all colors and I can maybe do a couple more rings, but I mean, eventually I'm going to have to think up something else. I guess, oh no, wait, I already, I already solved this. I just don't know how I'm going to graphically do it or if I would have to like pay somebody to do it. Of course, the easiest solution is after you have the max amount of rings is to start drawing petals in it. But I don't have that many slots to worry about it anyway, so I guess it's a non-issue. All right. Mm. Yeah, that is what I'm having to do. Can you see how low my ready for takeoff is here? It's like very scant. I have another almost empty bottle that I need to just combine so that there's like one halfway decent bottle. Okay, nails are clean. Let's get a let's get the base coat on here so that we can move forward and not be here completely all night cuz we're going to have to be doing double water marbles on every single finger. Well, we'll talk more in a minute. <clears throat> Starting out with clean dry nails, you want to begin with a base coat. I'm using Ready for Takeoff, which is a peel off base, and you can use whichever is your personal favorite. Um, basically, I think I should be able to accomplish everything in 10 cups um, by dipping two nails at a time in each one and by dipping my thumbs together which is always awkward, but yet always, like, I always kind of want to do it now. Um, unless I were, like, doing something where obviously every individual nail uh, was being dipped, but it's always irritated me that if you're, like, dipping two, two nails at a time that you have, like, an odd number of digits on your hand, so the thumb is always just, like, sitting here its own little dumb extra cup unless you can figure out a way to do three fingers and then you have like the awkward thumb two finger dip. Um, that, that coral marble also, by the way, war like shit. Um, it's, it started peeling off on its own yesterday. Like not even freaking 24 hours after I had applied it. I, I was kind of irritated. By the end of the day, I had a whole pocket full of peelies. Four nails on my right hand had basically popped off. And uh, that was a, a record in recent recent memory of how, of like a ready for takeoff failure. I really don't know. I mean, I didn't feel like I did anything different. I was like, did I completely forget to wrap the tips on my right hand or something? I don't know. But it was like, I literally, I reached to put my cell phone in my jeans pocket and a nail was like, and like 
I mean, not the nail, but like the polish just going in the pocket and I like pick it up and it's like hanging on just by that little cuticle area. And like the rest of it is like, meh. like, dude, I literally wasn't doing anything rough with it. Kind of pissed me off. But then again, like I always say, can't be mad at it for doing what it's supposed to do. It's peel off fucking base coat. It's my own fault. I also do wonder, like with water marbles in particular, of course we get the base color down first. Like we did discover that like fully dry makes for a better peel, which is usually better. But like what if too dry makes for too easy of a peel and the right hand does have to wait quite a while to get the water marble. Yeah, Sparkly, I really, I, sh I should go back at the video and look and see if I forgot to wrap the tips because that's, or maybe like I was, I, I can't think of anything else I was doing that would have like, I mean, I didn't like soak my hands in water or anything, but that's where it was coming apart, you know, right at the tip when you can go like that and you like can almost hear it, feel it just going. <laughs> I hope you're doing well, Sparkly. We are just getting started on the marble. We are doing, I still got to decide you guys. Spirograph double dip, double dip spirograph. Or maybe we don't even mention that it's double dip. We just call it the spirograph water marble. These are our tests. It's pretty freaking cool. We're going for this one. Like we just, we kind of decided this one is too sparse. This one is too intense. This one is just right. What, what was it in three bears? Oh, too hot, too cold, just right. And the beds, too, too, uh, too hard, too soft, just right. Do you guys like soft beds or hard beds? Like who, well, actually, okay, I was going to say, who the fuck likes a hard bed? <clears throat> but actually, my mom likes a hard bed, so. <laughs> like, I want as many cushy pillow top things as are possible to have on a bed. I feel like double dipped is obviously more descriptive, but then spirograph is just kind of, by itself is kind of more eye catching. And then people are like, oh my God, how did you do that? And then they get to the video and then they see that it's double dipped. But then on the other hand, I'm like, maybe I'm just like way overthinking this, which I mean, is usually what I do. <clears throat> Cherries and pears. I did not like cherries at all as a kid, but I think that would be a pretty good combination. Medium. Um, these are from the China Glaze OMG collection, Barbie, except for we're going to be using uh, OPI's pearly Kyoto Pearl as my base color. You guys could actually be a little bit more. All right, there we go. Sometimes this thing just doesn't want to stay quite exactly where I where I angle it mm. Mm. Side, man for side sleeping I keep a couple times on Instagram I've seen this uh, like gigantic medical pillow that looks so comfortable for side sleeping it's like angled and has like an arm for your hole to go through a arm for your hole to go through a hole for your arm to go through so you're not like crushing your arm it just like goes like through the spot in the pillow and then you like look so freaking comfortable and I'm sure it's like a couple hundred dollars which is just not fucking happening for a pillow oh no a cobblestone road a dacky what the hell is a dacky is that one of those things like a casper or a purple or some shit ninja A red cherry goatee. You should, definitely. I mean, if if you're comfortable. Post your pics of your kids immediately so we can oogle them. It's not creepy sounding at all. <laughs> like, I really, I like, I like when people share, but at the same time, I don't want to, like, pressure people to share because not everybody's comfortable sharing, and that's also okay. Like, just because I'm nosy and want to see shit... <laughs> 
And everybody else is probably a little nosy and wants to see shit too. Like, you gotta do you. Yeah, a lot of them. Purple. I really almost went purple for a while, but then I was just like, you know, I really. They're not like super expensive, but they're like not cheap. Beds like aren't cheap. Even the ones that claim to be cheap, they're like not cheap. Um, you guys probably want me closer when I'm painting, huh? Nope. You should nope. <clears throat> yeah, well, and, and they've got a lot of, they've got like the pillows, they've got the freaking purple dog bed if you want to spend an exorbitant amount of money on your dog's bed. Um, it's the one, if you've ever seen, um actually that they do they do goldilocks commercials they do the thing where there's like uh an egg and you can like jump on the bed and the egg doesn't break like jump on the bed on the egg if you google if you youtube it or google it i mean the, the infomercials are actually entertaining which makes you want to watch them and then you're like man i kind of want that bed and then you're like man this infomercial just uh manipulated the fuck out of me <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> I bet that's cute. A little sparkly pink. Okay, we are going to go over the colors. We're probably going to end up doing two coats of the Kyoto Pearl. And then we're going to be doing protection, which we'll use latex. My lovely, shiny, pearly latex. Oh, my latex is going to match my base color, y'all. Shh, don't tell anyone. It's apparently a secret. <laughs> <clears throat> the colors that I'm going to be using today are from China Glaze and OMG. For the marble, I'm going to be using OMG. Wait. I said China Glaze and OMG instead of China Glaze and OPI, didn't I, you guys? Fuck. Me no words good. I hate that. Because I always call. Well, I don't call. I do it online. And I put it for like as soon as I can. Because what if I go out? If I go out, I want to get my prescriptions and shit. But then if I don't end up going out, then they're like, hey, did you remember you had a prescription? You should come by and get your prescription. Hey, don't forget. Come see us. Hey. Walgreens instead of CVS, but uh, yeah, I feel you. I feel you on that, cupcakes. Mm. Yeah, the squatty pot in the squatty potty, the one with the actual unicorn pooping ice cream. If you have not seen these infomercials and you're like, what? I'm not lying. I'm not making this up. There's a commercial for this thing that helps you shit that shows you a little weird unicorn Muppet shoot shitting rainbow ice cream. <laughs> I just. I mean, I watched it, but I, I watched it like. <laughs> like who actually like got that approved? Like, okay. So my idea is we're going to have this unicorn and it's going to be subtly creepy and it's going to be shitting ice cream. <clears throat> the colors we're going to be using today are from China Glaze and OPI. The silver is OMG. The pink is BFF. And the blue is Tonight. As my base color, I'm going to be using Kyoto Pearl. And then I'm going to be protecting around my nails using liquid latex as well as tape. <laughs> His name is Dookie. Are you shitting me? I mean. <laughs> oh, that's actually kind of great. <laughs> All right. Yeah, two coats of this, I think, are not, like, 100% required, but I think it would be a good thing. I mean, and that doesn't take too long. 
the two layers of water marbling are what are going to take a while. But hopefully it just all goes like nice and smoothly and it's... And it all turns out like it turned out on my testing. If I can dip the test strips and line them up appropriately to the channels, hopefully I can dip my nails and line them up appropriately to the channels. Oh, UV resin casting. Resin is pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff you can do with resin. Like, if, if I needed another hobby, <laughs> which I obviously do not, resin would be kind of tempting. <laughs> Cheaper than, uh, what is it? Around here, it's Bite Squad. I think other places, it's DoorDash or some shit. And they... They charge exorbitant prices. And they and even then there's still places that aren't covered. What'd you send them out for, Ash? What what food are you having delivered? Cause yeah, I'm already thinking about food. Now that we're done talking about poop. I have to decide if I want nachos or something else tonight. And if you're thinking, well, of course, obviously nachos is the answer, like I love nachos, but I'm like fully aware they're like not like a healthy meal. And I try to limit how often I have them so I don't feel like I'm complete like moo moo butt. But, um, it's so like once a week is usually my thing. But last Saturday I didn't have them. So it was like maybe Monday or Tuesday before I had them, which means it's only been like not that long, not a whole week since the last time I had nachos. <laughs> That's one of the things you miss, son. Yeah, there's a few. Pe there's there's a. I mean, there's a considerable amount of people missing. It's like, if, if I start thinking about like who's missing, it's like I could name at least like half a dozen people. And there's, I know there's like more people that if they came in, I would be like, hey, welcome in. And I mean, shit, new people too. But I really do. I love. I love that so many people turn out for the Saturday streams and the weekday streams too, which speaking of weekday streams, well, we let this dry just a little bit more before playing our second coat. Um, I have added Wednesdays at eight o'clock to my, uh, official schedule. Um, so I'm really going to try to stick with doing something nails related midweek. Uh, midweek Manny is going to be a thing and it's, I'm going to try to keep it Wednesday evening a lot of times when I think I'm going to stream in the afternoon for whatever reason it just doesn't work out maybe occasionally there will be times when it is afternoon and of course then announcements will be updated in discord and that's not going to be like my only ever midweek stream because Tuesdays and Thursdays and sometimes Mondays and Fridays end up being a thing also um, and if somebody wants to pop an exclamation discord in chat for anybody that's new or anybody that just isn't in there yet although I think pretty much all you guys at least everybody chatting is lurkers are all also welcome in discord you can lurk the discord server look at everybody's nails and pets and food mm. sometimes i like uh i i would not pay for like the doordash things but if i'm out doing errands and i know i'll be like around them some uh tgi fridays takeout Man, some freaking potato skins. Yum, dude. Potato skins. Oh, man. I, man, I could go for some potato skins right now. Two pounds of cheese and no chips. No. Sparkly. What is? How could you allow this situation to develop? <laughs> I use, I'll confess, I use so much cheese. Usually I run out of cheese first. <laughs> Thank you, son. Oh, you have a sore throat. I recommend tea. Well, of course, I just was saying earlier how tea doesn't usually help me when I'm hoarse. But that's different than sore. I was just thinking the warmth would be soothing on a sore throat. Or 
a Ricola. Ricolas are the shit, and usually they're for coughing, but I wonder if they would help with a sore throat too. Or gargling with warm salt water. I could probably come up with some other semi-legit solutions. Gargling with warm salt water is like a mom thing. Tea just sounds, I mean, tea, when is tea not good? Chili's chicken enchilada soup. Hell yeah. <laughs> mm. Man, food. Well, the other thing, I mean, I have some other things that I could make. I mean, I don't, I'll, I will, I will fully admit, I mean, I love cooking. I do not cook from scratch very often. I, I just don't. But I also like, don't just like, you know, I'll take some, some pre-made stuff and combine it together or jazz it up or a little, or, you know, get some, get some frozen shrimps to go with some pot, make up some pasta and like pick a veggie to go with it and like get some good. Ooh, we probably, we probably have still that wedge of Parmesan. I could have freshly grated Parmesan. Oh, what's better than Parmesan? Freshly grated Parmesan. Oh my God. And that would be pretty tasty too. And I mean, it's not like nachos are an easy way out. Because to properly do nachos my way, like you need some time. You gotta construct the layers. You gotta cook it so that the cheese reaches ideal caramelization, crispiness, and meltiness all at the same time, at the same moment. Gotta gotta do everything just right whoa I feel like my voice almost cracked right there just right I mean I definitely do have a method down and I think I do still have some rice left over from something else which is like not a, if, if that's gone that's fine they sell at Aldi's am I I can I'm still on camera I think they're from Aldi's. They sell these little ready to go rice bags. They're just like you rip open a corner and put them like 90 seconds in the microwave and you got like rice and it's like pretty good rice too. And they come in a bunch of, I'm assuming they come in white, although I never get right white, I get like the brown rice. They have like an ancient grains medley. So it's probably got like quinoa and shit in it. <laughs> quinoa. I just feel like, Poor quinoa, because it's got like this frou-frou reputation now. But quinoa is actually pretty good. I mean, I think. Oh, uh, do you have any other teals you could try, Anne? I know exactly what you mean, because we've had a couple like that in some recent testing. Um, these hollows you've seen, these work fine together. When I tried to do, uh, the silver hollow in black, or I mean, any of them in black, couldn't get an even spread to save my life. The coffee marble that we tried to do a couple weeks ago, Dr. Crotron said that has permanently traumatized him. And now whenever he sees a water marble, he's worried that it's going to be like the coffee water marble, which was, I think it was the lighter color was just like too strong. It, you would you would put it and it would just be like poof. no matter how many drops of the darker brown it just like it refused to not overpower it pumpkin cream cheese muffins hell yeah dino what are you beanie he's cold apparently it's not chilly in here it's 75 degrees in my room it's a perfectly reasonable temperature he is curled up directly next to the space heater <clears throat> Yeah, wet coughs are the worst. Because then that's usually like partly in your chest. Any cough that gets into my chest makes me kind of worried because of my asthma. Like I'll take a throaty cough any day of the week. Over a chest cough. Mmm. Mmm, that does sound good, son. Just simple and... There's pre-cooked pasta. I don't know if there's plans for that, though. That's from Grandma's house yesterday. It was for the goulash, but it was, like, extra more than the goulash needed. Yeah. 
I, I really love this. I have a couple that are very similar. Um, couple was it was a I think it was for the purple orly water marble. We compared this with uh, must be a couple shoe boxes down. There's an orly that is also quite similar and pearly, but it uh, it really did wonderful things for the purple water marble, and I'm hoping it'll do wonderful things for this one too. <clears throat> three teals and it's the same man i i i i mean other than like finding the different uh of the other colors but you might still run into the same like it might be whatever the pigment is that makes teal is not really compatible with the god i've got like a little mini paper cut this knuckle is so dry and itchy why is it so much drier and itchier than the others um, this might actually be a little bit of an eczema breakout now that I look at it closely. I'll have to put some of my some of my stuff on it. <clears throat> yeah, I I don't usually keep it quite this warm. In fact, even this is like I I don't want to turn off my space heater until I'm done water marbling because I don't want it to get cold in here. And it's kind of hard to like regulate. I mean, it's always been hard to regulate in here, but especially now that we don't actually have a furnace. Um, so I don't want it to like cool off too much while I'm water marbling. But I don't usually keep it that warm. <clears throat> Although I do, I mean, I like to keep it pretty warm in here because I'm usually just sitting at the desk, which is, you know, I, if you're moving around, I feel like it's much easier to keep warm. Aww. No more tea. That's I that's a good cheat, son. Cause fresh pasta's best. Oh yeah, if you well that just means you gotta do early dinner too, Amethyst. But then you'll probably be hungry before bed. Oops. Okay, so we're taping right along the side walls. And then we are latexing the knuckle. I I am not a tomato fan. I mean I'm I like tomato sauce with pasta. Not always. Um, I mean like there's other good sauces you can put on pasta too, obviously. But um like I don't like it when they're like chunks of tomato up in there. This is going to be so pretty once the latex dries, you guys, because it's going to match my nail polish, because the latex is also pearl. That's pretty close there. I think it should be okay. I'll give it a closer look right before I dip, just to make sure... I, I like having, we have a whiteboard in the kitchen where the days are noted down and what's for dinner or whether it's like a fend for yourself day. Usually eat together like a couple times a week. Whiteboards are so convenient though. I like to try and claim I'm. I, they help me be organized, even though sometimes I'll look and I'm like, oh, I never have updated what I wrote on here before. <laughs> okay, I think we'll just leave it at that. We're not going to do the thumbs right now because the thumbs are going to be last. <clears throat> snacky before bed anyway yeah likes ketchup and hates fresh tomatoes hey Cyressa <laughs> yeah like that's not a sauce mm. oh so that it's more like a, what? what is that a, 
not al fresco or maybe it is al fresco won't put mayo or mustard on sandwiches i'm not a huge mayo person but it depends on the sandwich mustard i really i'm still love hate on mustard yellow mustard absolutely not but like a good honey mustard oh you just did your own acrylics for the first time congratulations Cyressa. <laughs> yeah that's a huge accomplishment do you like how they turned out i hope um let's close this so we don't have any accidents and we are starting with pink layer one is pink i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna work two fingers at a time so we'll do these two pink then we'll do these two blue then we'll do these two pink and these two blue So we'll actually get all the polishes reopen again. <laughs> Mustard is bay. Yeah, like I need a more I need a more interesting mustard. Like yellow mustard. Yellow mustard doesn't even taste like the same thing as like a good honey mustard to me. Like it's mm. I, I have that happen with nail art sometimes, Cyrus. So I think it's because you're like concentrating and trying so hard. And also in my case, a lot of times it's because it's that's the second hand I'm doing. So like I've worked out some of the technical difficulties. Okay. with our well-used dirty cup that we know the polish has been spreading in today. No switching cups for aesthetic purposes because it might screw up your aesthetic purpose on your nails. Look at my, look at my shiny pearly latex, y'all. Woo, woo. Matching my nails. <laughs> Caribbean chicken and rice. That sounds delicious. I'll have to take a look after stream Saracen. But it sounds like everybody else is saying they look really good. It's so cool. Oh, you just did that first, so cuz why not? Well, when you're learning, I mean it is kind of why not. It's like go ahead and try it. Why not? Okay, so we're doing 10 no we're doing nine drops of the pink where are our tests we're gonna do nine drops of the pink because we don't want it to be quite that intense okay so we're not starting with pink we're gonna start with silver <clears throat> let's uh Okay, let's move all these out of the way. I'm like nervous for some reason. Like, how is this going to work out? There. <clears throat> um... I'm well I suppose I can explain here the okay we're gonna we're, mm, like usually I just go into like we're doing the water and whatever but I think I need to at some point at the beginning end of the manicure state the fact that we're gonna be doing two dips <clears throat> okay <clears throat> and we're doing pink first not blue first As usual, for a water marble, I'm working in a five ounce paper cup filled with room temperature filtered water. And the first layer is going to be the silver and the pink. So we've got four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine. Once your bullseye is complete, you can stretch from the center out in two directions. Then I'm going to draw on some chevrons before I add in my little curved channels. Ooh, those bubbles there. I'm going to have to get rid of those. And these don't have to be like even. You don't want them grossly uneven, but they don't have to be perfect. All right. Once you have your channels ready, you can turn your cup to a good angle, then line your nails up, one aiming for each kind of channel, then go ahead and dip in. Go ahead and clear any excess polish from the surface of the water so that doesn't stick onto your design. And then, once the surface is as clean as possible, I'm going to go ahead and slowly pull out. And there's the water marble. Usually this would be where I remove the protection, but I'm going to go right in to the second bullseye for the second layer. And I'm actually not thrilled with that dip, you guys, but we're going to go with it. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Once your second bullseye is complete, go ahead and repeat the same pattern. I'm hoping this will still look cool when it crosses. We're just going to have to see. no guarantees in life or in water marbling. And I'm trying to keep the channels, I mean, like finger width, but also slightly wider, just in case I'm like slightly off on my dip, that they still look like okay. Okay, so those I want toward the tip of my nail. <clears throat> Go ahead and line your nails up again for the channel, and this time you want to face the curve in the opposite direction. So line them up as well as you can, and dip. Clean off the surface once again. And then slowly pull your nails out. And there you can see the overlapping curves. Now we can go ahead and remove the protection. I'm going to go ahead and grab onto the tape with a pair of tweezers and carefully peel it and the latex off. And once I've done the double dip water marble on all my nails, I'll finish cleaning up around the edges with a small brush dipped in acetone. That almost stuck right on my other nail. Did you guys see? All right, so that's passable. We got that. This is partly why I want the curves to be like so exaggerated, you guys, so that the overlap is obvious on the nail. Because otherwise, 
you know, it's back to looking more like the uh, plaid idea, except not. One, two, and I'll catch up with chat in just a little bit here. Three, I do like the opacity we got out of the pink. Four, we're like the saturation, I mean, I guess. Five, six, seven, eight, <clears throat> nine. All right, so once again, stretch it out. Start off with the chevrons. Whoa, that was kind of snaggy. And then we'll draw in the channels. And I just need to be very mindful that these continue to face like the same direction for all the nails, which is with the pink curve, like matching to my cuticle curve and the blue curve kind of matching well the tips of my nails aren't curved but if they were so again just like kind of extra drawing through to exaggerate that curve a little bit more oh that really wasn't on camera very well that whole time I think oh well rip Can see a bunch of cuticle bubbles on these they'll pop as I slowly pull out right there and right there and right there okay now the blue and we are anybody just joining us we are using slightly different amount of drops between the blue and the pink just by one uh the pink is starting out with this with the silver rings and the blue is starting out obviously with blue um that's just a result of our testing and our nitpickiness and after i do this dip whoa no that's right what am i doing after we do this dip i'll catch up with chat lost count this is why i should be counting out loud um, eight, no, seven, eight, nine, whoa, oh no, the orange stick, ten. Okay. Stretch. Chevron. Then we'll do our channels and then we'll do our second dip. And like you just you just have to be so mindful, or at least I do doing stuff like this, that you dip it in the direction that you really want to dip it. Like it's so easy to get confused, I think. And you can even just like keep in mind like on the other one you know I turned it clockwise and this one I'm turning it counterclockwise. Line them up. Dip them in. Um. I don't like that middle finger at all. Doesn't have barely any blue. Oh well. Ooh, well, I'm definitely not redipping anything today unless it's like way worse than that. 
Okay. Got like a big old water droplet on that nail. These are, I mean, they're not quite as cool looking as the tests. I almost feel like doing two channels would maybe be the answer. Actually, maybe they are as cool as the tests. I feel like I need like a one more swipe of blue right there. No, we're not doing polished surgery. But you know what I mean? I feel like it's an unnatural gap there. I think they look cool. I've never seen a water marble that looks like this. Okay. Let's uh, latex up our other hand. All right, let's get caught up. No, let's, let's, okay. I was going to say, let's do this, let's do this. No, I should catch up with chat first because otherwise I'll just continue getting farther behind. Just skim through here. Uh, uh, excuse me, real quick. Why am I doing this shit to myself? But in the end, it was worth it. Yeah, I really... The ring and the pinky both look really good. The index finger also looks really good. Stamping gel. Oh, I have a, a gel that I got because it was cheap last time I ordered on Amazon. It's supposed to be for foils. Hey, Nacho. Oh, a migraine. That sucks. I think nail glue is usually pretty good at holding on stones. Maybe not as, like you said, not as strong as if they were embedded, but. <laughs> In your lap. Oh, no good. No good, son. Mm. Oh, thank you, short round. No, I think, I think you're right, Musical. It reminds me of something other than Spirograph also. I mean, there's, there's still the Spirograph water marble. That name is sticking because how could it not? If anybody doesn't know what a Spirograph is, it's a toy that is way too hard for kids to actually use. Um, I wish I could remember what else it's like reminding me of, though. Oh, praise with the raid can i can i have a mod shout out praise i forgot to have a mod shout out dr crotron dr crotron you should have shouted out yourself or do i have a mod here do i have a lurking mod oh yeah def i think they definitely always stay on longer when they're closer to the cuticle sarah so Yeah, a lot of res you can do a lot of cool resin stuff with nail art stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Luke. Oh, no worries. Were you here earlier? Did you notice you have an upgraded nipple, Luke? <laughs> Look, double check. <laughs> Gonna get some food. All right, praise. Thank you again. I hope your stream went well, but you can tell me when you get back from food. Because after stream, it's always like, man, I got to clean up. I got to pee. I need to get some food. My water's gone. <laughs> Makes it so hard to do a proper raid. <laughs> Upgraded butt. Okay, let's, uh, let's tape and latex and then dip this other hand. I'm, I think, I think this is good. Does it remind anybody here of anything other than Spirograph? I, I just, I don't know. I'm, and I'm not sure if it's the colors that it's doing it to me. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. If it's the colors that's making it, making it remind me of something or if it's the pattern that's making it remind me of something. Yeah, flakies in resin look freaking awesome. <laughs> Looks so butt. I ordered a butt more. <laughs> My mom would get mad at me for saying buttload. 
until like I happened across like I don't think I actually like went and did research or anything, but I happened across this information that a butt load is actually a legit measurement. It's like a barrel. Like a barrel is like a butt, so a butt load is like a barrel load. Yeah. You know you know you know what it might be? Like those banners like birthday banners and they're like metallic loops <laughs> if this was 60 fps my finger wouldn't be blurred well as blurred <laughs> <clears throat> yeah like 500 gone yeah like and it is like it's a huge amount i mean buttload is super appropriate Mmm, salad. Salad would be really good. Yeah, like kind of like, oh yeah, or maybe like streamers or like if you have a, a ribbon and you curl it and then you have like another color of ribbon and you curl it and then the curls are like... So, so many cool things. I really... Really too, I mean, we picked these colors because I didn't want a polish test. This is something that could be done with other colors to, to equally cool effect. You just got to find colors that are, are sheer enough that you can see, um, whoa, the, di the different layers. And, and salad would be, I, I really like a chicken Caesar salad or like a big old Cobb salad. Oh my God. Or just like a burger and fries. When was the last time I had a burger and fries? Uh oh, you guys, I'm not even quite halfway done and I'm hungry. I guess, I guess I'm probably halfway done. If we, if we count the testing as part of the manicure, testing surely takes longer than clean up and top coat. Of course, we're not quite one hand done. We're only four fingers done. The thumbs, the wonderful double dip of the thumbs. The, would it be a quadruple dip of the thumbs because dipping the thumbs together is already a double dip and then we're going to double dip them with double time, which would make it double double? Toil and trouble. Okay, no. <laughs> Association. Pathways in the castle of your mind. pastel triangles and squiggles 10 buttloads is the same as a metric fuck ton you can you can say fuck ton here sparkly i'll i'll allow I'll, I'll i'll allow it i think it's only fair that chat can also curse if i can curse yeah it does feel kind of cotton candy i feel like it especially would if it was like oh you know what else would work really good for this but with what china glaze rainbow China glaze rainbow would with what? Okay, we can't we can't start thinking about the next manicure yet. We're not even done with this manicure yet. Welcome back, C4. Cob with turkey and egg and blue. Oh, nom on everything except for the avocado. Half nom on the onion. <laughs> Thank you, C4. I want tomato. Meh. We, we already discussed tomatoes a little bit earlier, Praise. I was saying how I like, like, tomato sauce, but, like, actual tomatoes are, like, meh. Mm. Oh, cool. I wonder if I, maybe I should add a crafty section. I always think about adding more sections. But then I'm like, ah, general's fine. <laughs> Thank you, Praise. Mm. <laughs> it's all in love. So this is not quite dry. You could tell because it doesn't match my nails yet. It still looks, still looks wet, but I'm impatient. And it's only the right hand, which never gets as much love. So we're just going to continue on. And uh, by, the, by the time I go to dip, actually, it should probably be mostly dry. Actually, I need a cleaner corner of this napkin here and maybe a little bit of extra acetone yeah 
but that he liked uh, ketchup. <laughs> I know the right hand. I mean, I'm not not loving it, but it, it doesn't matter as much if the peel is nice and clean because it's not on camera. Of course, the on camera peels weren't all that today either, were they? Um, Make sure y'all can see. Um, okay. Counting is our friend. One. Two. Three. Spread for me. There we go. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Up, down, chevrons. and again they don't have to be even but you don't want them too lopsided either or then you end up like the one nail where i said the blue looks like it's just completely fucking missing like a, a it looks like a line that should be there is like not there all right these are looking pretty good nice and round And we want the curve toward the cuticle, so we'll turn the cup this way. Uh, sorry, this is gonna be a little bit awkward, I feel like. Please stay relatively straight. Dip. Hope that pinky's okay. That felt crooked. It's another instance like I talk about how it's hard to keep them together when they're not actually the same length and sometimes they want to go crooked. I think this might be okay though. Well, shit. Pinky's pretty crooked, but it's okay. Deal with a bull. Um, start out with the blue. Wait, you had a candy bar and it wasn't what you wanted. I feel like I maybe missed a little bit, but I, I don't, I can't scroll back up right now. I apologize. I always, I, I pre-apologize for any chat that I ever miss ever in the whole world. It just is unavoidable sometimes. But it doesn't mean that I don't care. Okay, what is this, four? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, same thing. Up, down, chevrons, and then channels. <sighs> Beanie. He's so cozy over there, just on the fucking floor. Like, hi, like, you don't have your own personalized chair or anything. Let's just lay on the fucking floor. Just curve them just a little bit more. Real delicate touch, like with this, or you can, like, especially, like, if you're slow, you don't want to rip it. Um, okay, we want this curve toward the tip of the finger. Right, yeah, like this. Again, lining up the nails into the channels like if I was really good I would take into account like can you see I think well because my thumb's in the way 
you see how they don't want to like come quite together how like they're together at the tip but like the knuckles are not together so just picture that slight angle on the pinky if I was really good I would just like take that into account when I was drawing the design dip but we'll see how it turns out Oh, that's pretty good that's fine that's fine like it kind of detracts from how crooked the bottom was even though there was not a lot of pink in in the bottom layer which also probably helps like the optical illusion of it but because I've been like really careful about making sure that they look curvy and not just kind of like I, I want an arc I don't just want a like a squoval I don't like want like the squoval of my like my nails where it's like a flat thing and then just the sides are curved because like I've I'm very very happy I have not hit the side of the channel on any of my nails so we don't have that that stroking line showing like on the side but that also means that the curves at the very side where the curve is like the deepest is not showing. So you have to be very aware and mindful of what the curve in the center of the channel is doing. If the, okay, it's too hot in here now. I'm turning off the space heater. I'm sorry, did I disturb you, Beanie? Oh, I'm, I have that glow about me. But no, we only have, what, four cups left? We should, it should be fine. It's not going to cool off that fast. I can't. He's like right there. Like I'm here directly behind me is the space heater and he's crammed next to the space heater and my footrest, which is usually under the desk, except for when I'm like, it, it can stay there if I'm doing regular nail art sometimes, but when I'm doing water marbling and I know I need to get like with my legs actually under the desk, I like it's on wheels. So I just roll it out. So he's just like crammed over there. And I don't think I can, I don't think I can get them on camera quite. Oh, I'm like sweating here. Oh, well, it's better than freezing. <laughs> uh, don't, don't complain about being warm in a house with no furnace. That didn't sound as much like the whole stones and glass houses thing as I hoped, but you, you get my drift. I really, I'm not complaining about being warm. It's, it's a blessing. <laughs> Mm. yeah yeah be gentle on your throat I always feel like I know I'm hoarse a lot of the, as I go like teenage boy I know I'm hoarse a lot of the time um right now I don't think it's due to any sickness although I'm trying not to like get really really stressed out with everything that's going on and like relapse back to how I was in January but um a lot of the times my throat is just some of my meds, like my asthma inhaler. And I also do like a nasal allergy inhaler, which can like drain your throat and eye drops, which can also drain. And it just gets like a meh, type of a feeling. <clears throat> yeah. She'll sleep on the hard concrete. Beanie absolutely will too. His move, which I've not had, I mean, I haven't had millions of cats, but none of my other pets have ever done this. Like, he'll be walking around with you, and then he'll, like, run ahead of you and flop right in front of you on the floor or outside on the sidewalk or whatever. And just, like, roll around there and look up at you like, oh. But he also does love to just, like, lay on the cement outside in the sun and stuff. He likes his chair. He likes the, the bed, which is also that away. He, he really loves the new... Actually, I'm surprised he's not... Well, no, there's kind of stuff on the bed. I forgot I was digging for things before stream. So he's got comfy places, but... I mean, he looks so sweet right now. He's super comf. Mm. To find something soft to sit on, yeah. Yeah, tripping hazard. I've taught him not to stop on the stairs, which he used to do, like going up or going down. It's like, are you trying to kill me, Beanie? Like people always say about cats. 
<laughs> yeah, I've never had a cat that did that. I, although Frisky used to sleep on the stairs toward the end of her life, which was like you, I mean, of course you should be looking at the stairs, but I think everybody, like if they're going up and down stairs in the middle of the night, sometimes they just don't turn the light on. Well, except we had learned to always turn the light on so you didn't step on Frisky because that happened. <laughs> okay. Pink. I love the way this is turning out. I'm so glad it turned out well. I, I really needed a good manicure to, to complete my color therapy and lift my spirits. And I hope it's lifting anybody else's spirits that need lifting also. Because, well, I was going to say color therapy is free. And it is. This particular color therapy is not completely free because, I mean, I had to buy the nail polish. Watching Twitch is free. And so is following my channel. No. <laughs> I mean, it is, but that, like, was not a proper drop. I hope I don't regret that. Because that was almost like two and a half drops just need to make sure this one's really hefty there all right chevrons oops Okay. Here's like a good example of what I was saying, like how it's almost straight and just curved at the edges. Like you really want to try and get the whole entire thing to show the curve. Okay. So pink toward the cuticle. I think I want, these are like kind of really thick right here. So I want to move more toward like this end. So let's line up. Oh man. Why does this angle feel so weird? I think it's because I'm trying to go so far to this side of the cup. I'm going to just move it there. That's a little better. Sorry, not as good of a view for you guys, but in the interests of a better dip. Actually, maybe you guys could see that now that I look. And and sometimes it's like it's not just the design or like the angle of your nails that determine what angle you really want the cup. Like sometimes it's just easier to dip in certain spots from certain angles. That's pretty good. That one's a little bit off, but both very nicely curved. Balance of... Uh, skinny and slightly thicker lines a little bit slightly darker pink because it was that two thing but I think part of the reason pink on the bottom looks better is that although this silver is very sheer it is still there and it is slightly lightening up that pink sparkly baby just fell asleep <laughs> ninja paint <laughs> mm, yes good luck that she sleeps long enough Wait, a subreddit for what? Cut, cuddle, cuddle roll? <laughs> for chubby kitties? Oh. Okay, blue. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, come on, nine, going lopsided here, like a lot, ten, why are we so lopsided, I'm going to turn this so I can pull it this way. We'll make it work, hopefully. 
like doing starting out with this like is is very forgiving because you're not looking for identical things you're just looking to like add some interest and some more additional line work whoa that's a hair well that's okay I'm not I'm not thrilled with this cup but I'm gonna use it mm. Shoot. Okay, and then after this, oh wow, I like that one. Um, after this, we'll just have the thumbs. So, I'm gonna need to be very mindful. Whoa, that came off so easily, that tape. I mean, and if you wanted to, you could certainly tape and latex separately for each dip. That just seems like an extra lot of work to me. But in some cases, like the extra dip does make the tape like start to almost come off before you wanted to because it's so wet. Yay. This one seems like it has the most color, which is kind of ironic because this one has the least color. This one is really nice. This one is really nice. This I like it overall. I've got I feel like the well, that's nitpicky. The right hand is slightly more colorful than the left hand. We've still got the thumbs to do though. So get a couple pieces of tape. We do have the best chat, I agree. uh-oh laundry well you remembered no amethyst you remembered about laundry forgetting about laundry is when you're laying in bed and just dozing off to sleep and just you know comfortable and snug and then you go laundry that's forgetting about laundry you've got plenty of time well i don't know what you have planned for the rest of your day but the day is not yet over you have some time yeah, got to make the sounds or it won't work. Now, the other part of doing the thumbs together is hard is that, like, you know, dealing with both thumbs encased in latex and tape at the same time can be a little bit awkward. But it's worth it. I mean, in this case, it's not just saving us one cup. It's going to save us two cups. And I don't think it should be hard. Like this particular one, the design we did last week, we had to do the the, the more awkward version of the two thumb dip. Um, this one, I should just be able to, um, instead of having both channels facing the same direction, have one of the channels facing the opposite direction. And then that should be fine. <clears throat> yeah. Not just no for his fingernail. I think he's missing like the whole little first joint yeah the the metallic sheen well the metallic sheen is due to two things the polishes are hollow which it's kind of hard to tell in the bottle but this little spill right here if i can get it at another good angle like i had earlier that little spill on the side of the bottle you can see a little bit of the hollow and then for the base color i use this really pearly white called Kyoto Pearl and it's really just like sheeny sheeny and shimmery and it's it's doing good things here and you guys see like I wasn't really paying super attention but I was thinking those pinks look dark but when you get a little veil of the silver over them they blend in with everything else so I definitely think having uh, the pink first and then the blue second was the right choice to make <laughs> son the splendid shimmery sheen shimmered on the surface of the is there a watered liquid word that starts with s the, it's shimmered on the slick surface of the 
sloppy, slippery. Okay, let me, wait, let me stop. <laughs> sea. The sea contained in a small cup, the five ounce paper cup of seawater. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if seawater or salt water or something, maybe salt water actually would be good for water marbling. Because salt water, they say you float more in the ocean because salt water is more buoyant. Do I need to test out salt water for water marbling? Will all my nail polish float magically? I mean, it already floats, though. I don't need to make it float better. Except for that other day when we had a cannonball. <clears throat> the sheeny, shimmery, the splendid, shimmery sheen upon the surface of the sea in my sippy cup. <laughs> for science. <laughs> hmm. Maybe one day, but the more I think about it... I mean, floating is not the problem. Does salt make, does salt make nail polish dry slower? <laughs> That's what we need, y'all. Hmm. Okay. Two more cups, y'all. Two. A double dip, double thumb, double feature in a single cup. Two thumbs, one cup. Oh my god, let me stop. No wait, that's not right. I'm doing the wrong number of drops here. Okay. Let's let's clean off the surface and start over. I gotta start with two drops of silver for the pink. <laughs> Man, I feel like I could really take a nap. Being stressed out is exhausting. It really is. It's like why I'm not like doing anything why am i this tired i didn't i guess i didn't sleep very well either but i did not complete any of the hollow knight racing weekly things this week yet and i don't know if i will i thought about streaming thursday night i thought about streaming a couple times during the week that i ended up not streaming and i'm thinking of streaming tonight and that may or may not happen but if it does happen, I'm probably going to do the weekly rando bingo. Because I think rando bingo is one of my favorite things. Above and beyond regular rando. I mean, regular rando is fun. But with bingo, it's even more fun. Okay, I hope that, the right, that that's the right number of drops because I stopped counting, but I think I did it right. Oh my god, my stomach. Did you hear it? Reminding me that yeah, you can't you can't even think about that until after you take care of me. And actually I have to edit tonight too. Either tonight or tomorrow morning. Okay, so we're gonna be put in here and here this one we want this way this one we want this way so rounding 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 not as round as I would perhaps like but it'll work now one on each side Aim for the channels. Dip. Oh, I don't know about that one. <sighs> okay, now. Turn them so that you're like... Like this. And then like... Use your knuckle... To grab that excess... Until you have a clear enough spot to get your nail out. Shit! It's okay. It's only the thumb. First one, though. God, and that one came out so nice. First one, we caught the edge of the channel. God. Almost flawless. Well, not flawless, but... Almost all how they were supposed to be. Except for poor, poor little right thumb. Poor little right thumb. One, 
to maybe to look extra cool when we're done and I'll go, man, I should have done that on all the nails. Three, a little bit of pull, please. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 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 There we go. Okay. Again, up, down, chevrons. And then we're going to want these arcing toward the tip of the finger. So I want this one this way, this way, this way, this way. Now we'll round them, round them a little. And then again, lining up and dip. So like, like I can't even see the cup right now. Like my, my hands are like crossed in front of me. So then I do like, like I said, like a slow turn so that I can see what's going on and see where there's like an empty spot for me to pull out. Like in this case, see right here, there's already kind of an empty spot. So I'm just going to pull out right there. Oh, look, it's actually almost the same spot. Another overlap, but it did actually turn out looking cool. This one, obviously I could pick up the orange stick, but I'm just going to, again, like get it stuck on my knuckle as I need and then pull out of the open spot. I caught just a bit of the edge right there. It's fine, though. And I missed quite a bit of chat, I think. Careful, tape. Get out of here, tape. Latex. Come on. And this one. Whoop. Careful. Oh, come on here. Sorry. It wouldn't come off my tweezer. There. You see what I mean? In fact, actually, it was kind of like... Uh, where's the one I tried to do? It was kind of... It ended up kind of being like what I tried to do with this. But this was way too chunky. Right, right there, you can see. Like, I missed, I missed the channel in almost exactly the same spot going both directions. So it created like a... It, it is cool. I don't know that I wish I did all my nails like that, but it's not it's not a horrible looking thing and it actually is kind of cool. Which way would that have been? That would have been on the outside. So I actually should have been having it a little bit closer to the other thumb. Interesting. At first I was thinking that I was too close to the other thumb and I was overlapping on the weird center part, but actually... So the thumbs, I mean, for dipping together, they actually turned out quite different, but I think they're they're good. They're all good. And is chat good too? What you been talking about, chat? <laughs> it's okay. I smudged it. Do you see? It's okay, but I smudged it. All just because I was trying to close my nail polish like a good girl. Instead of a dummy that leaves them open and get dry and knocked over and spill. And I like bashed into a cap and I 
I dented my special nail. <laughs> yeah, I think he did. I saw it in Discord as like as I was getting ready to stream. <laughs> the flaky glitter. So what you're saying, Dino, is even when I do like almost all completely hollow, it's still not enough for you. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Musical, that other... So, you guys, if you haven't seen, the other dip involves... Okay, so here are my hands, here are my thumbs. Like, this sort of a motion to get them lined up right next to each other facing the same direction in the cup. As opposed to just like this. Where it's, like, pretty easy to line them up like this. The main thing is just getting them out. Well, and, and dipping it exactly where you want. That problem is uh, more or less of a problem depending on the design. A rhinestone opportunity, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that was the original idea, Mrs. Shredo, but the test, the test turned out so chunky, I kind of abandoned it. But that would be, a, I mean, like, if I do this again, when I do this again, instead of focusing on, like, the rounded curves, I think we could do, like, focusing more on the chevrons there. And if that was centered... Like in the nail, if I got the chevron like evenly, I mean, that will be the challenge, of course, like dipping it straight and matching it, dipping it the other direction. Um, maybe, maybe that's a stamped marble opportunity, actually. Um, like I think it would create like a fleur de lis type of a because the circles will still be overlapping too. You'll have the points overlapping and the arches overlapping. <clears throat> I'm glad you guys like them. Oh, hey, Benny. <laughs> um, I don't think it needs surgery. It's it's not. Can I? Let's change our focus here. I think Seth Beat will fix it. It looks worse on the camera actually than it looks in person. Like, it almost looks like a hole on the camera. There. That is actually a good angle of it. That's more like what it looks like in person. It's just a little ding and a smudge. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> no, we can't hide this wonderful double dipping. Now, you know, I just realized that I didn't have very many problems with bubbles with this as I'm looking at this one bubble that I do have. Bubbles might be a tricky thing to deal with this, although I think you could probably end up pushing them both layers flat at the same time. Can you push push flat here, bubble? But I didn't have too many, thankfully. This one right here. And I honestly can't tell if this was the second layer bubbling or if there was a bubble on the first layer. Then, then the second layer just also... <sighs> Can you not water droplet? Here, let's just absorb you with a paper towel. Oh, you're a bubble. That's not a water droplet. It's a bubble. Can you see it right there? That's a bubble. That's a big-ass bubble. the biggest bubble I've ever seen now I pressed it flat and it looks a little bit shriveled but it didn't really interfere with the pattern too much I think Sesh Feet should take care of that too what do we got going over here that was a really weird bubble it literally looked like a droplet of water and then when I like tried to shake it off it didn't shake off and then when I tried to absorb it with the corner of the paper towel it like fluttered is the best word I can use to describe it Mm. Okay, cleanup is next on our agenda. Might need a little bit more, a little bit more acetone. Okay, recording again. I feel like it's been so long since we were recording any of this. 
I mean, we recorded most of the whole left hand, so it's not like it was really, like it was really that long. Okay. Okay, there it is. First, I was going to say, where is my freaking cleanup brush? But it's right here. And, of course, these are a piece of cake to clean up. I mean, they're not um, stubborn at all. So this shouldn't take very long. Not like cleaning up something black or red or dark blue or super shimmery can be. Yeah, I think I actually have one in a drawer somewhere, Amethyst, if this one gets, like, it is starting to get a little bit, um, like, almost frayed at the edge. Thank you, Basenji. I really like it. This is the Spirograph Water Marble. Okay, so, yeah, I was talking about Spirograph earlier. I mean, I remember seeing, it was one of those toys you saw the commercial, you were like, oh, how freaking cool is that? I want that. And it was one of the few that I actually did end up getting. And I don't remember what age I was when I first got it. But I do remember that I could not do it. Like, it was so hard. Like, in the commercial, they're just like, Look, it's a spirograph. Wow, so cool and so easy. Not easy, you guys. But then I remember when I was like maybe 12 or something, like finding it and like actually being able to do it. It was rated probably like eight and up. Nah, man, you need to, you need to have a little more patience than a small child has and, po and a little more dexterity too, to actually get the damn thing to work. I wonder if I still have the Spirograph somewhere in the basement. You guys want a Spirograph stream? <laughs> oh, that'd be some shit. <laughs> that'll be our uh i think we're already past 500 i think i'm at like 500 and something th followers that could be our 1000 follower special <laughs> spirograph stream yeah what is that why aren't you coming off nicely a little bit of combined latex and weird stuff there soda bar barbie place and i had the barbie ice cream shop i do remember having that and boy man i used to love to like stick that little frozen thing in the freezer and like get some milk and sugar and make my own little nasty icy ice cream because the thing was like ice cream maker but i mean it wasn't really that good it was just like the novelty of it and the sweetness of it <laughs> Mmm, icy sugar milk. Yum. Not yum. Actually, probably it pro I probably would still eat me some icy Barbie sugar milk. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Sit there and be like, I'm making my own ice cream. I never had like the Easy Bake Oven or something. I don't know if I like never expressed interest as a child or if that was like just too expensive to be one of the things that I possibly would get. And I don't even remember if I got the ice cream shop as a gift or if I bought it for myself. Because I, as a child, would take out loans against my allowance to get Barbies. Like, oh man, I really want this Barbie. Well, this Barbie costs such and such amount of money. You, you willing to get no allowance for three, four weeks? Or more in some cases. I remember buying a wedding Barbie that was... I mean, expensive to my child mind and not have an allowance for like three months or something. Which I think is a good thing. Like, I think a lot of kids like really have no idea about like money. Like when I was at Target yesterday, there was like screaming children. You know, these kids are like, and it's like, man, I, I don't remember ever in my life 
feeling that entitled even as a child to like toys and shit like I didn't understand as a child like money really like I didn't understand that we were closer to being poor than we were to being like rich I mean we were middle class you know probably more lower middle class than upper middle class really but like you know we we never like I never like had like starving or anything like that I do remember one time going to a food shelf and thinking it was so cool because we got some cookie dough which was not something that was normally on the grocery list but anyway like I, I never like some kids I remember this kid across the street he had so many toys like he got a toy every time they went to Target not like a a childhood uh contemporary like this kid I used to babysit it's like he got a toy every single time they went to Target or and these other kids that are like freaking out in the store or whatever and it's like kid like I don't know like not like all you you know two-year-olds should know the value of money but like by the time you're like let's say 10 or so you should understand that money is not like this infinite thing where you can get everything that you want i think i don't know i don't have any kids so i guess it's a fucking moot point (laughs) but Mm. yeah more marble designs this was unintentionally this just like when i dipped the first one which if anybody was not here for the testing uh this was the first the first successful test that I was like holy crap it's a spirograph <laughs> and I think I mean really so we had that one and we had uh these two and we were kind of aiming for this one as like the middle ground this one being a little too sparse this one being a little bit too intense we're maybe a little bit less intense than this one maybe like a more silver but I th- I think it turned out really good very unique <clears throat> yum I would be grubbing it sounds like something hell yeah bread and cinnamon sugar nah it sounds delicious just like cinnamon toast or cinnamon cinnamon uh, like English muffins do I, do I wonder if do I still have English muffins downstairs of course that's uh, English muffin is not a meal and I need to figure out my after stream meal um it, it'll probably be nachos honestly you guys oh actually wow you guys i'm so used to having like really late streams we'll probably wrap this up by six o'clock that's kind of great i must have not been as late starting as i usually am That's probably what happened. Just imagine how early it would be if I actually started on time. Mm. This marble. I like it more and more the more I look at it. And there are some parts in this blue that's right by the cuticle. The camera is not quite picking it up. There is a swoop of pink through there that does look purple. Maybe top coat. Maybe top coat will bring out the purple where they overlap. That is the one thing that I'm not like thrilled about because that was kind of the basis for my whole overlapping thing was I wanted in some kind of way to have colors overlap to create another color where they overlapped. But even though that is not as obvious like as i wanted like the the overall design is beyond what i wanted i think this is even cooler than the plaid i mean the plaid if we'd been able to get that to work out i feel like that could have been could have been something could have been somebody but um this is this is phenomenal phenomenal i feel like i use that word a lot lately had one more little bubble I noticed there. All right. Top coat time. I didn't fill this up, so it's still like half empty. <clears throat> yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, I had some things that I was spoiled in, but like on like a day to day basis, definitely, definitely not. Mom would use them to bribe good behavior. No, it's just like with Beanie, and then they'd be trying to do something, you know, just to get the just to get the treat or just to get the toy, and then they go off and be bad afterwards. If you eat enough of them, English muffins can be a wheel. <clears throat> yeah. Like, not not gifts for every occasion. I still have, I think we've talked about, like, you know, real life memes or memes with your family. I still have this meme with my mom from this one time we went to Target and there was this kid, like, throwing a fit. And then she was going, okay, Dad, here's the deal. It's like, dude, you're a kid. You don't get to cut deals. And we're, like, standing in the aisle over in Target just, like, dying laughing at this kid, like, trying to bargain with her dad. And the dad, like, kind of seeming to go along with it. Like, he just was not prepared to deal with the kid. Like, okay, apparently usually the mom does the Target trips, Dad. You need to you need to suck it up a little bit more. And this kid got you wrapped around her finger. Mm. Ex-Benedict. Yeah, that would be a good breakfast for dinner candidate, I would think. Wait, what's on your to-do list for nails? Ex-Benedict? Or did I miss something? <laughs> <laughs> I would not put it past myself to miss something. Hmm. I'm sleepy. I wonder how much sleep I got last night. Let's look. Then we'll put on top coat. I'm wondering if I didn't sleep very much or if I didn't sleep very well. Oh, my phone is so slow. Come on, phone. Come on, phone. Just go. Oh, the plaid. The plaid, yes. Did you see? So, like, the first thing I did... Did I show you this one, Musical? I was trying to do stripes and then just, like, cross the stripes. And, um... Like, I did this and I was just like, well... I mean, that worked. You can definitely see both of the designs. I was like, well, but th that's not plaid. <laughs> I was envisioning, like... Well, you know a plaid. Like narrow stripes and then like a wider white slash silver stripe. And then like more like little skinny stripes. And number one, I couldn't get them to do what I wanted to do with the stripes. And then number two, it just didn't... The purple didn't come through as much, so you didn't get that overlapping plaid look. But instead, we got this. Um, okay, finally moving here, phone. Yeah, well, it didn't work. <laughs> oh, but that's fine. Although I almost feel like this sort of a plan would be better, but it would be a very uneven. My phone's Bluetooth is not off. Why? When is the last time you synced, you idiot? I'm sorry. I'm cursing at my phone because it's. Wait, what? Okay. Cancel. Go away. The seventh, you fucker. Okay, I don't pay very much attention to my Fitbit, but it's supposed to sync itself. And apparently my phone's Bluetooth was off and it hasn't synced since the seventh. That's not fucking okay. Oh, well, I guess I should pay more attention to it. So basically, it has to sync up a whole bunch of shit before it will tell me how much I slept last night. And a bunch... Fitbit will keep a considerable amount of data in it, but I have noticed when it doesn't sync on a normal basis, it does not give you as much details on like the levels of your sleep as it does if you make sure to sync it every day. So now I'm kind of irritated. But it's minor because, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's a nice reference to have, but I mean, obviously all that sleep has already happened. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> Nobody died from crying, yeah. Yeah, top coat. I'm hoping top coat will really pop out the purple. I wish I could. There you can kind of see at the cuticle of my index nail. There's a there's a pink swoop that goes right through a pretty thick blue swoop. There's a couple other spots like that. Like I said, at the cuticle of this pinky, there's one too that's harder to see. I'm hoping that the top coat will pop out the purple more. <clears throat> we'll see 
in just a moment. <clears throat> Once you're done with cleanup, you can finish with top coat. And as usual, I'm using Sesh Feet. I had to stop and think for a minute about what word we decided was better to use instead of using finished twice. All right, wrap these tips. Oh, I'm so happy with this. You can see the remnants of that bubble well, I can on my tutorial camera. You guys can't quite. But that's minor. Super, super minor. It might, it might, I might be actually finishing early enough that I could get sunlight pictures today instead of waiting until tomorrow. What a fucking concept that is. Oh, this thumb is really good. I love this thumb. It's creating like these V shapes because the, the, the arch is not centered. That's... Oh. There's just so many like interesting little things happening in this manicure. I'm very, very pleased. Not 100% pleased because, you know, I'm picky. Yeah, the days are getting longer. It, uh, it actually feels like spring around here. I like being able to go outside in the morning with the boys and uh, sit out there while I have my orange juice. got out some of the comfy uh, patio chairs out of the garage and a footrest wow that was a lot of top coat that was a little bit much top coat we had a couple chairs out there but they were like the sturdy chairs that are okay to stay out over the winter and the more comfortable ones that have like the cloth uh, seat and back were in the garage Oh, you hear that, Beanie? Better go check it out. Sounds like Pudge. <laughs> Can you see his little, how his head is like... Yeah, you, you better go check it out, Beanie. You guys. <sighs> like, so, like this is, I mean, this, this was kind of complicated, but this is a simple little pleasure. This finished result is a simple little pleasure. I really, this, this one is also a favorite. And you can see that purple, not great on this webcam, but you can see the purple where they cross. I think this one is maybe one of the ones to easiest, easiestly. That's not a word. <laughs> daylight savings is such a weird, dumb thing. And did you know that they do daylight savings like over in Europe, but they don't do it at the same time that we do like just to make things a little bit extra more complicated. No, Mrs. Gravestone, but we worked out this instead and I'm not mad about it at all. I'm actually, I'm actually pretty happy about it. We, we did still do a double dip, which had been the plan with the plaid, but we just, I couldn't quite get the stripes to, to work out the way I wanted. Oh yeah, probably as soon as that sun came out, huh, Ameth Amethyst? Yeah, the Spirograph water marble, y'all. You don't do it at all in South Africa. Yeah, see that? And there, and you know, there are some places that uh want to do it all the time like there's places that do it there's places that don't do it but there's places that want to do it all the time instead of going off it or not doing it all the time 
And apparently, like, that's not allowed. Like, it's a lot... Well, here, at least. It's allowed to... Uh, it's allowed to decide to not do it, but it's not allowed to decide to do it all year round. I don't know. It's like, if you want to work or you want to take advantage of the light, like, just do what you want to do at whatever time. And I, I know not everybody can adjust their schedules, like, as they want, but, like, daylight savings time just seems way stupider than it is useful to me. Thank you, C4. <laughs> Chicken enchilada casserole. Oh my god, I haven't had enchilada casserole in so long. <gasps> Sounds so good. Maybe we'll have that this week. I should put that on the whiteboard. Okay, let's see what is going on. If we have somebody cool, I could send y'all over to. Um, or if not, I mean, it is the weekend, so we always have Bob as a backup. Um. Oh, I see where we're going. I see where we're going. Yes, Luke. Yes. Yes, son. Yes, Miss Cal. Everybody already knows. Okay, so everybody that does not know, uh, SSD Ninja, one of my mods, porch member, uh, consider him a good friend, uh, doctor in residency. Are you a doctor while you're in? No, not residency. On rotations. Are you a doctor when you're on rotations or are you still considered a student? Whatever. He's going through like medical school and shit and he does not have time to stream very often. And he's streaming right now and we're raiding over there. I'm going to start the raid now. Um, raid message is like ninja stream with like lots of happy, excited emotes and all that stuff. Thank you guys all so much for hanging out with me. I feel I feel so much better than when I started the stream and I hope I can like last it out through the rest of the day. Um, may or may not have a stream later this evening. If, if I'm going to have a stream, I'll update in Discord. Um, otherwise, tomorrow um, there'll be some Hollow Knight. And like I mentioned earlier, Wednesday is now officially a part of my schedule for midweek manis or midweek nail polish something. And... Uh, yeah other updates in discord as always thank you all so much for hanging out i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day whatever time it is for you wherever you live and of course i hope i will see you all next time also knows it's very easy to cheese random encounters oh shit oh shit hi everybody How's it, uh, how's it going? I'm gonna get beat up from the ninja games. I don't have any cam, so there's gonna be no cats. Or faces. Or cool nails. 